on a real my hair has not been growing like literally it's been three years how do i stimulate hair growth my hair has been on a plateau forever since i got that haircut has it changed no i actually think i've lost an inch or two my hair my ends are looking weathered my hair is so damaged and so weak when i brush it and i look in the sink i can see broken ends fragments of my hair in the sink Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be doing a highly requested top five Ayurvedic herbs. Honestly, there are so many Ayurvedic herbs that are amazing and I just cannot go into them in this video. It is supposed to be a top five, but you can go ahead and do your own research. Shikai Kai, Aretha, Neem, Fenugreek. Fenugreek is just going to get its own video. I'm, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do a video dedicate, dedicated to some of the uses of fenugreek. Um, maybe it could even be the one that I do on shedding hair, but it just needs its own. It is so amazing. Look it up. Utilize it if you can. It is one of the key ingredients in my hair growth oil, which has been getting those insane reviews. And, you know, you can make it up yourself or you can purchase it. It's really up to you, but it's crazy crazy potent um but i'm just gonna talk about a few my top five in this video so let's get it i'm gonna start with ashwagandha now this is basically indian ginseng unfortunately it's something i'm not able to use at the moment because i'm pregnant and it actually has an effect on your hormones so if you find that you have lost hair and it's due to a hormonal imbalance um then this is, could actually be a very good option for you. You can actually take it nutritionally and you can apply it to your hair as well. It is crazy rich in antioxidants. It's like a super, super tonic for the hair. What it actually does is it stimulates and increases circulation to the follicles of the hair. It strengthens the follicles of the hair and it actually increases your rate of hair growth. The other thing that it does is that it helps to combat endocrine disruptors because it has an effect on your hormones. So it's recommended that if you're experiencing um, adrenal fatigue, endocrine fatigue, depression, if you are having problems with hormone balance, um, is one of the things that is often recommended if you go to an Ayurvedic practitioner and for that reason, it is great for if you are experiencing hair loss because of a hormonal change, a hormone, hormonal imbalance. Um, so that can really, really help. The other thing that it does is it actually stimulates melanin production. Yes. Uh, let me just put some on my skin because the winter's out here. Um, but seriously though, it stimulates melanin production. So it really does help with if you have premature graying of the hair um, it does really help either hold it progressing forward or actually to reverse it as well which is insane so yeah this definitely accelerates hair growth and the antioxidants are just really really potent for nourishing the hair follicles so definitely one to keep in your arsenal but consult a doctor if you want to be taking it um, orally as a supplement and definitely stay clear of it if you are pregnant henna 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 um if you've been on this channel for a minute you know that i absolutely love it i've been talking about it for over five years i mean this is the herb where if you have gaps and crevices of like if your cuticle shingles have actually fallen off your hair shaft and you have damage from manhandling from heat from the weather, from salt deposits from swimming, from chlorine deposits from swimming. Mind you, once the hair is clarified and cleansed, if you apply henna, it literally acts like cement or polyfiller and fills in those gaps, strengthens that hair, thickens your actual hair strand and um, defines your curls. It is the most insane Thing to have in your regimen now it can 
tint your hair color. So if that is something you're not interested in, something that is very similar and has very similar properties, but does not change your hair color if you have a darker hair tone um, and is less likely to change your hair color even if your hair is lighter, but I would strand test if you have lighter hair, is cassia. So cassia and henna, very, very similar. One thing that's also worth noting is that some women have experienced the loosening of their curl pattern. I have experienced that on two occasions, but it's always gone back to how it normally is so it's never really been a problem for me but i absolutely adore this the strength let me tell you something if you combine this henna with amla in a hair tea spray i think it's game over like there is not really a need to purchase like you don't you don't you don't need any protein treat you don't need anything else like your hair will be so strengthened but be sure to follow up with a moisturizing leave-in just to make sure things are balanced the other thing i really have to mention is amla amla again has been with me since the beginning of my journey it is strengthening but i would say that henna has that little bit above it for strength but one of the things that it does is it maintains the dark color of the hair and it delays graying of the hair it also is very rich in vitamin C, which makes it a great face mask for boosting collagen production in the face and skin. Um, it's great as an antioxidant for preventing um, bacterial infections, it's antifungal, it's antiviral, it's very, very nourishing to the scalp um, and it is very potent as far as its nutrients and I find it to be really, really strengthening. It definitely complements henna when I use them together and it prevents my hair colour from the henna going too light. So if I combine it with Amla, my hair colour doesn't go too light. It's actually also really rich in keratin and iron, which are very important for hair growth. If you notice that your hair is shedding like crazy, it could be that you are iron deficient. I've mentioned this before. It's really important to make sure that you are up on your iron and vitamin C um, uh, vitamins <laughs> and um, having amla as a part of your spray or maybe even an oil that you're massaging into your scalp will really, really help if you are experiencing an iron deficiency. I also really like Aretha because Aretha is basically like Indian soap nuts. So basically soap nuts, it is a herb that is actually going to lather. You're gonna get bubbles from it. And it is, in my opinion, very difficult to match for the amount of strength it imparts when it cleanses your hair. So Aretha will make your hair as strong as henna whilst cleansing your hair. It's actually a great ingredient if you have Russell Clay for you to add to Russell Clay because together they are just like ah, unstoppable, like crazy, insanely good. So definitely Aretha is definitely one to look at. Calpi Tone Powder. Let's just take a moment. It is the most insane combination of Ayurveda herbs. You can pick it up pre-mixed. And in the UK, we can find it for like, and I'm sure it's gonna be something similar in wherever it is that you live. But we can basically pick it up for like, two, three pounds for a box. And it's, and normally I see it by a brand called Hesh. Let me tell you something, it's the most crazy combination of Ayurvedic herbs already mixed for you. So you just pick that up, you put a spoon of that into your gloss, you put a spoon of that into your tea and you set. So it's very budget friendly. So let me tell you, I just had to pull up the ingredients list. It contains aloe, amla, brahmi, shikaikai, um, it contains maca leaves. So it contains maca. Also, if you're pregnant, just you can't use it. Unfortunately, I cannot use it. Tell it. Um, it contains shikaikai fruit, kamari leaves, brahmi leaves, kuchli, uh, chandan, neem. I mean, the list goes on and... I just wanted to point it out to you 
obviously it's basically harnessing all of the goodness of all of those different herbs in one and the fact that it contains aloe just makes my heart really happy because aloe softens the blow of some of the drying effects of these herbs with all of these i would recommend a strand test just in case you have an allergy i would recommend exercising caution if you are pregnant and interested in ayurveda if there is something that you have not used before pregnancy i would not start it several different ways that you can use these herbs the first thing that you can do is you can actually um, warm an oil very slightly warm an oil and you can put a teaspoon maybe a teaspoon of three different favorite ayurvedic herbs um, or seeds into the oil and just allow it to steep and every time you want to seal your hair or you want to do a hot oil treatment or you want to do a scalp massage you just reach for that oil in the meantime it's just been steeping and it's just been absorbing all the goodness that's in those um, ayurvedic herbs another way that you can use it is that you can make a crazy strengthening tea for your hair have videos on this where you literally use hot water not boiling water and again you add like up to three maybe four different favorite ayurvedic herbs into that tea and you allow that tea just to steep for eight hours minimum normally overnight and then you can use that a maximum of three days a week just to strengthen your hair girl let me tell you get absolute game changer spraying it all up in the roots of your hair prevents shedding prevents hair loss strengthens that follicles increases hair growth and like sp spraying it particularly at your ends prevents split ends so it's an amazing way to use it uh, the other thing that you can do is you can actually just make up a paste maybe with some aloe vera juice and add it to your deep conditioner of choice or you can just put it straight into your deep conditioner of choice i would start with one teaspoon and then you can work your way up to three you know doing a different combinations and using that as a gloss it means that if you add it to a moisturizing deep conditioner, your hair is strengthened and your hair is moisturized both at the same time. Anyway, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I tried to make it as concise as possible. These are my top five, yes, Curly Proverbs top five Ayurvedic herbs. I'm working on that leave-in top five. I know that was one of the other highly requested. And also I'm gonna be coming at you with a top five um, ways to prevent shedding of hair or to reverse the loss of hair uh, particularly like growing back your edges etc so if that is something that you are going to be interested in make sure that you have hit that subscribe button make sure that you have hit that bell that notification bell um so that you don't miss another video And don't forget the Beast Mode Hair Growth Challenge that we've got going on. Details in the description box below. First prize is six months of a Bell Bar Organic Beast Mode Hair Kit. Second prize is three months. And then we've also got $65 vouchers to give away. So if you're interested, check out the information in the link below. We are going to have some last admissions for the end of the month of February for judging at the end of May. All the best of luck and I will see you over on social media.